Hello Insiders, I'm Derek and I help build live streaming products here at YouTube. And today I'll be taking you through updates as well as answering your audience question from last time. Let's jump into it. Our first update is around our copyright unified web form. We recently launched this new version of the copyright takedown web form, which now lives in YouTube Studio. The new web form can be found in the copyright tab in YouTube Studio or by directly uh, reporting the video from its watch page. In addition to the improved user interface, users will also have the option to schedule a takedown to take effect after seven days. This feature was previously only available to copyright match tool and content ID users. A YouTube account will be required to access this web form, which will also allow you to keep track of your previous takedown submissions. And eventually, you'll also be able to retract your takedown requests directly from InProduct. On to the next update from the Shorts team. The Shorts team has started a bi-weekly forum resource in the Help Center called the Shorts Report. This will be the official source of short some inspiration, product updates, and content tips. And if you're interested in getting an email notification when there's a new edition, simply subscribe to the forum post. We'll leave the link in the description below. The next update is around a launch that we had previously talked about briefly uh, for claims and dispute visibility in YouTube analytics. Connor actually mentioned this in a news flash from December, which we will link below, but as a reminder, YouTube analytics will now start showing claims and disputes at the video level. Uh, whether the dispute is still in progress, it has been won or lost, and whether the revenue will be backfilled. It'll also give an opportunity for you to take further action, like dispute right from YouTube analytics, hopefully saving you some time. This week's question is from Tech We Love, who asks about ads and ad playback within clips. Thanks for the question. And the answer is that clips will have ads as long as the underlying video has ads. And these ads will play back the same way you'd expect them to play back if you started the video at the timestamp of the beginning of the clip. All right, that's all we got for you this week. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications when we bring you more insights directly from the teams building YouTube. Until next time, keep it real, insiders.